Hey guys, yeah, it's about 11.32 a.m. on the, on this, the 16th of June, 2023. Yes, this is my mom's last day working for the summer until she goes back, I'm assuming around the 21st of August. Uh, so she's going to have plenty of time to kind of relax, recharge her battery and stuff. And as you can probably tell, like I said, you know, um... I, well, I didn't just say, but uh, I think you kind of see it just by my expression and everything. Um, I just woke up a little while ago. Um, basically, uh, actually not a little while ago. I'd say about 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. Uh, but basically, the overall, what happened is that this morning, you know, I got up and um, got something to eat, you know, like a little snack, drank some Sunny D. And then turn on the cooler so I can cool it down in the house a little bit and everything. And then, you know, I just went and laid back down. After, and this was all after my mom left. And after that, after I laid back down and everything, I just went right back to sleep. You know, when you get on your bed, you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm just going to lay down here for a little bit. You know, kind of relax my body, kind of wake myself up a little bit. But then you just fall right back to sleep. And that's kind of what happened with me. Um, anyway, anyway though, like I said, I got up about 30, about 20, 25 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, and, uh, just got off the phone with my mom because, you know, she likes to call in, check up, check up on things and stuff. Um, she's kind of, she was on her break. You know, today's going to be kind of, um, I would say kind of like unpredictable a little bit because... Even because historically, on her last day at work, or even on her last day before, let's say, a two-week or one-week break, you know, whether it's spring, you know, whether it's for spring or for Christmas and everything, she um, she will be she and her fellow teachers will be let out early uh, by by the school by her job and everything. So you know, I don't so I don't know if that's going to happen again here because they normally would do that. Uh, for uh, summer break, like, hey, this is your last day, you don't got the kids around right now, kids already went home for the year, over the next few months, you know, so we're gonna, we're gonna let you do what you gotta do, but if there's not much else to do, we'll let you go home early, and, you know, they might just do that, so I, I'm not really sure exactly when she'll be home, she basically has told me, and she said this in the past before, uh, when it comes to her last day before summer break, you know, she has told she told me that it'll be a regular hour, but I'm not really sure. I think she might get out early. If I, I would say probably the earliest I would assume she's going to get out would be about um, would be uh, about basically three thirty at most, three o'clock, three thirty, and then that would mean she'd be home by at least I would say. four. 435 at, at the earliest you know give her a little extra time uh, but we'll see we'll see because normally the kids you know on regular days even which you know for this year was a Friday instead of a Wednesday um, uh, not regular day uh, yeah regular day because Wednesdays okay let me rewind this let me get me some coffee like I told you I just woke up guys I do apologize Uh, there we go. But like I said, um, normally Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, you know, would be regular days for the kids, and Wednesdays would be uh, short days and everything. And and I, I don't and I don't know if they switched it around this year to where Fridays were the short days or something. I'm I'm not really sure. I think they did, but anyway, normally. Normally, outside of that one short day, which is either, which was either a Wednesday or a Friday, depending on you know what day they would choose for that year, uh, the kids would go home by three. So my assumption, my assumption, is in the next couple of hours, you know, or next several hours, I'm going to get a phone call from her, um, and she's going to say that they've let them out early, and I would assume that will be around three or three thirty, which again would allow her traffic depending to get home by at least uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock. That, that's just my assumption. I could be wrong, you know, and they might, and they might just keep them there for the rest of the, the, rest of the day. Um, anyway, though, 
I wanted to come on here because as you can see in the background, I have a package. This is from uh, Frank Hill, of course. And of course, you see that in the title here. Uh, Frank Hill sent me a package. And for the first time, uh, in, in, and uh, let me let me get some more coffee, guys. Again, like I said, it's early. It's also what kind of a day it is, too, that, you know, right off the bat, I have, if I get, you know, something like this in the mail, like a package or whatever, I have to open it up, you know, immediately and share it. So that way I have some content out for you guys, you know, bef you know before she uh, shows up and everything. But anyway, getting back on track, this is a package opening. This is a, pa <laughs> this is a package that I'm going to open that Frank Hill sent me. And for the first time that I know of, he has sent it via UPS. And I, I think he has, you know, now that I think of it, I think he has sent other stuff via UPS in the past. But mostly it's been by United States Postal, USPS, he has sent it. This is the first time in a while he sent it via UPS. And the reason, I think, in my opinion, and Frank, correct me if I'm wrong, the reason he sent it to me this way is because I had asked him um, when I did the, I, well, I don't know if it was a, yeah, it was the uh, package opening he sent me for, uh, Hey There, Jogi Bear. Uh, he ordered me Hey There, Jogi Bear through, through Amazon, and I thanked him for that, and in that video, I said that, you know, this week, if he could, he didn't have to, but if he could, send me the package he said he was going to send me, because he mentioned, not only was he going to send me Hey There, Jogi Bear, but he was also going to send me a massive package in June that would be worth it. And, you know, I told him, okay, you know, if you're going to send me that package, try to send it by this week. Because, you know, after this week, my mom's going to be off. And the only way, you know, I'll be able to have any kind of package openings going on is if it's like I, it's, if it's like I ordered from Amazon or Target or Walmart. So, if anybody... My advice, not just to Frank Hill, to me, and Frank Hill to Zara Nizarek, or Frank Hill to Patrick Butler, PB Productions, or whoever, or anybody else that sends packages to one another. My advice is if you live with family, whether you live with your parents, whether you live with your siblings, whether you live with your cousins, or whatever, my advice, especially if they have seasonal jobs or you see 10 month 10 months five months you know jobs that they work you know for a, well you kind of get the idea basically near year-long jobs but they're only like 10 months seasonal whatever but if you live with family that takes a break for a few months and then goes back to that same job afterwards my advice if you live with family or friends again if you live with your mom your dad your sisters your brothers your cousins your grandparents, and any one of them, if not both, have that kind of a job. My advice, my advice, you know, during that break time of theirs, is if you're going to send anything to anybody, send it via Amazon, send it via Target, send it via Walmart, so that way it makes it look like that the, it makes it look like that the person you're sending it to was the one that ordered it. It's in my opinion, that throws off a lot of suspicion. So, Frank Hill, if you're going to send me, Patrick Butler, Zara Nizarek, or anybody else, something during the summer, and let's say that person, you know, is with somebody and everything, and that person and that person they're with, that mother, that father, that wife, that husband, that cousin, that sibling, you know, if they end up becoming curious about what was sent to them by you, you know that that kind of that kind of will make things a little awkward. So my honest opinion, and again, I do apologize. I am tired still. I just woke up. Uh, my honest opinion: send it via Amazon, Target, or Walmart, or whatever. So it makes it look like the person you're sending it to is the one that ordered it, and it throws off suspicion. That's just my advice. You can do that if you want to. You know, that's just my advice. But to real, but again, my advice. To Frank Hill and to anybody else that does this, you know, if you're sending packages to each other and the person you're sending a package to lives with family or friends, lives with their parents, the mothers, the fathers, the grandparents, 
the aunts, the uncles, the sisters, the brothers, you name it. Send it via Amazon, Target, or Walmart during that time that those people, that they, your family or your friends or whoever you live with is off during the summer or during a certain break time. Send it via Amazon, Target, or Walmart so that it doesn't, so it doesn't cause any suspicion, you know, and curiosity on their part because they'll think that by you sending it to the sender, by you sending it to the receiver if you will they it'll make the uh, it'll make the other people around them you know less suspicious and curious as to what was you know what is being left at the doorstep yeah they might ask oh what did you order and everything and that right there when they ask oh what did you order because if they see it's a target order or a walmart order or a amazon order you know, they'll look at that, and the first thing in their mind will be like, what did you order? And that will throw off suspicion. So again, I know I made this a little longer than it should, talking about this, but the point that I'm saying is if you're going to send packages in the future, folks, to friends across the country or the world, and those people that you're sending to might, you know, have a family they're with, and family like my mom, you know, having 10 months jobs and everything, might be off during the summer my advice and this is not just for summer but for spring and christmas break or whatever or any kind of break they have my advice send it via amazon target or walmart it throws off less suspicion but that's but again that's just my advice you can take it if you want to if not go ahead and send it the other way around and maybe Maybe someone like me or anybody else out there could be could make up the reasoning like, oh, I went on eBay and I ordered this from eBay and this is how they sent it. That could work too. So, so anyway, uh, with that said though, let's get into the package and uh, just make sure there's no bugs on it because it is bug season and everything. Yeah, it is a package as you can see right here. It's 7.50 pounds, according to what UPS said. So, yeah, let's see what Frank Hill sent me today. And then afterwards, I'm going to get myself together, get my bed together and everything. But let's see what he sent me uh, today, this time around. Like I said, he said it's going to be worth it and everything. Well, let's see, you know, how... Well, worth it, it is. So, well, take this, put that to the side. Actually, let me open up the camp in there. So, okay, so he sent me several bags here. Several bags containing stuff. So, yeah, as you can see right there. So, let's see what bag. So we're going to open here, we've got some figures, got some cups, okay, you know what that is, so let's see what we got here, first off, let's we'll start with this, what, what is this, huh. oh, it's a pen and plot, <laughs> How about that? It's a pen and plant pot. So actually I can switch this out now for those. That, that works. It's a lot more sturdier than what I have. So yeah, I can switch this out for this. Thank you. I definitely need something like this. Compared to what I have right now. Yeah, I definitely can use something like this. I mean, if you watch the, my room tours, you see what a lot of my pens are. This will definitely help out and maybe make a little bit more room. Thank you very much for that. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna place that right there. That's really cool. Oh, he double, he triple wrapped that. <laughs> Let's see down here. We got here. Oh, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers Uno game. Pretty cool. 
Pretty cool. Going to enjoy playing that. Having that in the collection. Oh, knew this was coming. Sent me a Super Mario Brothers cup and everything. And this is one of the reasons that um, I suggest. And and this is one of the reasons I suggested he send the package now. Mainly for the fact that, you know. Like I said, she'll kind of be curious and everything. But this way, I can have if I have things like this sent to me by Frank Hill, this kind of a cup. I can uh, clean it and everything, and it throws off suspicion because, as far as I know, she hasn't asked about the Transformers or the My Little Pony cup uh, that he sent me among the Scooby cups uh, as well. So, so ba basically, the same could be said for here, especially if I uh, hide it among the cups and everything, and it throws off suspicion, you know. <laughs> Because, you know, as time goes on, she'll just look at it like, oh, we always had that. I just didn't notice it. Because that's one thing she does do, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that, where you'll have your parents or your, you know, your parents, your mom, your dad, or whatever, you know, if you have package sent to each other, or you're send, if you have package sent to you from somebody and it contains a lot of goodies that you like, you know, and some of the goodies are cups, you know, one of the things they might notice is, you know, or not notice is, you know, a, this, a new cup among the cups, if you know, if you know what I mean. And then when you start drink, drinking from it and using it, they'll be like, oh, I didn't know we had that one. I guess I missed it. So, pretty cool. So, thank you very much for that. And here, oh, we got a Mario figure, so it adds to the collection of figures. And yeah, we have Mario. So, we have a Mario figure. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, I can add that to the collection of figures I have. And everything. So here we have a little Mario figure, Fire Mario. And everything that's really nice. A little far, Fire Mario. Pretty cool. Uh, we got a figure from Mario Brothers, the Mario Brothers movie. We have Mario. And I was actually considering getting some of these from my former job now when I was there, but didn't have the chance to do it. But yeah, we have, uh, you know, we have Mario now. So we have little Mario from the movie. Pretty cool. And up. Uh, for Mario Kart Racing, we have the Mario Kart. We have Mario in his cart. Pretty cool. So you got plenty of Mario there. Oh, <laughs> had a feeling. <coughs> we have some socks. That he sent and everything. Pretty cool. And a <laughs> Mario stocking cap. <laughs> Save that for the winter. That's pretty cool. I know what that is, I think, so I'll save that for last. So we'll bring these up, and up. Oh, got some more books to add to the collection. And as you can tell in the back, I don't know if you can really see it well, I'm doing my best to get that organized. That's all the comics that have yet to be put into binders and everything. So once I bind them and organize them, I should have a little bit more room to add some books, or more books. So here we have... Hmm. I thought this would be a little okay. Cool. So this is a little uh, 
M manga mania. You know, manga mania and everything. It's pretty nice. And this is just manga adventures of Mario and his friends. So, really nice and everything. They do have another one that, they do have another one. And I think I've shown it off before. It is a, basically a collection of all the Nintendo Power, Nintendo Power ones. And if you want to know more about that, Nostalgia Critic did a review on it, Doug Walker, so... I'll link that at the end here, so check that out. But yeah, a manga, it's pretty good. Pretty cool, I'll put that, to, put that with the manga collection actually down here. What else do we have? Oh, we have a book of What is Nintendo? Pretty cool. It's like a little history book of Nintendo itself. Here, right, yeah, it's a little pretty cool. History book of Nintendo itself. A little story book, if you will. Pretty cool. Look at that. It's really nice. Nice. Um, let's see if I can put this, uh, put this right here for the moment. We have a Super Mario Brothers little golden book. Pretty cool. Uh, the Golden Books, ladies and gentlemen, were always like, you know, they weren't just meant for little kids, but for everybody, but mostly little kids, but nice collector items, because they do take you back to your to your childhood, so thank you very much for that, Frank Hill. All right, next up we have Meet Mario, a step into reading book, so that's pretty cool, got Daisy in there, which I do believe she's going to be in the second film, you cannot do a Mario sequel and not include Daisy. You have to have Daisy in there. Here we have Super Mario Bro Super Mario Mario Time. So again another little trivia book and everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and they even have, in case you're wondering, they do have Sonic books like this. Any video game or any kind of franchise IP that gets really big or becomes really big, they end up having these kind of uh, books put out for them so that even, you know, the even, even the uh, most curious of minds, not just the young minds, but the curious of minds, Get to know who the characters are and what everything's about. Here we have the unofficial guide to Mario. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of like one of those magazines he sent me on Sonic and everything. And, and all that. It's kind of a guide, but it's not officially a Nintendo guide. But it's like a guide that you would see, like, you know, you know in the book rack or magazine rack at, uh, at supermarkets or retailers. Uh, to pick up when you're on your way out or you're in the electronics area, so it's really nice, kind of cool. Thank you very much for that. You know, all the characters, games, TV shows, movies, and more. That's, that's pretty cool. And I think I did see that in my job. I did. And then here, put this over here, we have the official storybook for Mario. So this is basically a more Kitty this is more, I wouldn't say kitty fied, but more of a, you know, take, you know, more of a, like, <laughs> you know, simplified adapt book adaption of the movie, so. That's really cool. And if this, and I'll probably do a video on that later, so you guys can get something, you know, for content later on, maybe today, maybe down the line. But, really nice to have that <laughs> don't know where I'm gonna put it but uh, we'll see I'll probably put it over here with my other books and everything but we'll figure that out later and then he gave me one last thing 
And it's last but not least, so we're going to check this out. And he sent a note uh, with it. So I'm going to put the other bags in here too, so it gets tossed out in a minute. That being the box. Let's read the letter. It says, Hi Brian, enjoy, take care, bye from Frank, it's Frank Hill. He has some questions. Um, have you seen Super Mario Brothers: The Great Mission to Rescue Princess Peach 86 anime movie? I have seen it, and I have it on DVD. I do, and the DVD is in one of my Ottomans um, as we speak, but yes, I do have, have the 86 anime movie, and I have seen it, and from what I understand, you can find it here on YouTube. You just gotta look for it. Have you played Mario's Missing or Mario's Time Machine? No, I have not. Um, I wish they would have put those on NES Classics. I think they have those on the NES uh, console, virtual consoles on the Switch. I'm not really sure. But no, I have yet to play those. Uh, I have watched um, Irate Gamer and Angry Video Game Nerds review on them. And yeah, they, they look like they'd be interesting little fun games to, to play, even though they're more educational based and everything. And they're kind of officially, not officially, you know, the first Luigi-only based game. So, so yeah, I, I haven't played them, but I have seen the reviews on them. And they seem all right, you know, but I think they're meant more, they're meant basically to be more educational than just a regular Mario game, in my opinion. See any more questions? Nope. And what did he send me? He sent me the 4K Power Up Edition Collectible Steelbook from Best Buy, only at Best Buy, of Super Mario Brothers the movie. That's right. <laughs> this is only a Best Buy exclusive. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the same for any other, um, any other, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Any other, you know, a retailer, they will get exclusive versions of said movie. So, pretty cool. And this is another reason, like I said, you know, um, I advise you guys when you send packages to each other. Uh, and I do apologize, that's the noon horn that just went off. But this is another reason I advise you guys to send packages to each other uh, via Amazon, Target, um, you know, Walmart, Best Buy, whatever. It's because of the fact that if you, you know, you're sending people things like this, you know, movies like this, you know, at least it gives off that impression, you know, like I said, less suspectable, you know, it gives off the impression that, you know, you know, you sent them to it, and it makes it look like they ordered it themselves. So, even though, when time comes around, people like me come out here on camera and do a package opening, and we thank you for it, give you the credit for sending it to the people that we live with, our moms, our dads, our cousins, our siblings, our aunts, our uncles, our grandparents, you name it, it throws off less suspicion and everything, because, yeah, they might be curious, but the first thing, as I mentioned earlier, that will go through the mind is, what did you order? What did you get? And they won't, they won't be wondering, okay, who sent you that and everything. So, so yeah, um, that's just again, that's just my advice. If you want to take it, that's up to you. But again, thank you very much, Frank Hill. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, you know, uh, can't wait to watch this again and everything. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are, guys, um, down below. Uh, Cause I did see it in theaters. Um, I just haven't had a chance to review it, talk it about, talk about it, because I've been, you know, trying to look for work and other things going around. Got a wedding to go to, and at the uh, in a a week from Sunday, and then got a graduation to go to, uh, uh, three days before my birthday. So a lot's been going on. So I haven't had a chance throughout the past few months to review it. So I'll watch it again, thanks to you, and um, you know. Uh, you know, give my thoughts on it, hopefully when I can. But anyway, though, guys, that's really all I'm going to say on this right now. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. Thank you, Frank Hill, once again for sending it to me. Really appreciate that. Super Chats are open in the live chat during the premiere. I'll put that in the description if you guys want to help out. Super thanks as well after the premiere. And also check out the Teespring store. would really appreciate it. 
But guys, until next time, I'll talk to you later.